why they are here is because you know they believe in the cause. They believe in the cause of empowerment. They believe in the cause of you know, women needs to be empowered, and the message has to go through. So when they invited the celebrities, thanks to Shubhana for getting them all here, coordinated here. But when we invited them, uh, the objective is when I say something, it reaches say around the hundred. Or you know, I try to push you know with my Twitter handle, share it with my Facebook handles, and share it with my other handles, so that it will reach a maximum of two hundred. Then I have to wave, I have to kind of you know show my limited hair heads and all other things. But when a celebrity pushes it, it carries a lot of push automatically. It carries a lot of empowerment because a lot of people uh, follows them. A lot of people carries weightage, you know, to what they say. So it has got an outreach. And what we need to do right now on the Women's Day is rather than doing a lip service, we need the message to go across very strongly about an acknowledgement, about an awareness, about the empowerment which we do for the women. So we have a lot of nightingales here who are listening to us. You know, so you know, they do a brilliant job. You know, in terms of you know, because when. We are in the hospital bed. Our life, by and large, after the doctor, lies with them. I'm a diabetic patient. You know, sometimes you know, my HbA1c goes up to 2.2 because I you know my pancreas is bad. So when I go there, you know, and then when I when I go to the <coughs> doctor, will come for the long visits. It is with them, you know, in terms of you know, nighting with them. So the message has to pass across. You know? So we have, we are, we are grateful to have a lot of celebrities here. We have got Bali Street. Uh, who doesn't need any introduction, you know, just, you know, if I say, Mene Pyaar Kiya, Kisse Pyaar Kiya, So, you know, that is how, you know, Bhagi Sri is here, and she's also, and you know, that was news to me, you know, that she's a certified nutritionist, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, you know, so she understands health science a little bit more than from the celebrity point of view. So, welcome Bhagi Sri to this event. Thank you for coming. We have, uh, <coughs> I, I'm very sorry, I need to look for references, you know, for the rest of the things. Uh, we have Pahal Goh, Sharifullah Sahai, and we have, uh, just a second, Himanshu, Himanshu is a very handsome person, so I should not be, you know, trying to recollect his name. <laughs> so I've done Bhagi Street, and you know, I'm going to, Speak about a little bit about uh, Pail Ghosh. So she's from Calcutta, and uh, she studied political science. You know, that's quite interesting. You know, and uh, political science, and then a movie. And uh, so she has done her Bollywood debut. She has done Telugu movies. She has done other movies. You know, she has done BBC telefilm, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just, you know, so I just did the reference, you know, but I still recollect. You know, so welcome, uh, Pail. You know, for, thank you for you know, this night. We have Miss Earth here, and um, I know Alankrita, I know, thank you for being here. So Alankrita is just doing her Bollywood uh, debut with the movie called uh, Bombay is known for its square feet. And it is Loud but Square Feet is a movie, you know, which is getting released. Thank you for being here. And uh, with Himanshu, I really don't know he's a real daredevil guy, you know, because you know, Khatron ko kiladi, Khatron ka kiladi, you know, so you know, what all, you know, there's so much you know to speak about him, but he looks a very adorable boy, you know, from his face, you know, so <laughs> he's a he's a romantic guy, and I think the women love to see a romantic guy on this day, you know, on the women's day. Thank you, Manju, for being here, you know, for this call. So now the flow of the event is, you know, doctors will present, you know, their perspective on the women's day. Starting with Dr. Kevin Kodo, uh, who will present her viewpoints forward with Dr. Shelter. And then uh, we'll have a moderated session with the artists you know, coming across to the stage and speaking about the event. Uh, Thank you, the stage is on. <coughs> uh, sorry, you know, the, we wanted a photo op, you know, because you know, the full crowd, you know, we, you know, we would like to have a photo with all the people together. Because all of us are busy in the studio.
बस झालं
Um, yes, there are lifestyles involved, but a lot of it is changeable and a lot of it is in our hands. And today, as we stand here um, promoting this organization called SHE, which says self-help is everything, I would like to tell you that it is really simple. Help is in our hands. And doctors, I'm sure you would agree with me that lots of times that you meet patients, you tell them, ye dawai lo, lekin dhyan rakho, khud ka dhyan rakho. Bohat zaruri hai, uh, especially being women's day today, I would say, um, in our culture, in India, women are taught to give. We tend to look after our husbands, our families, our children, um, our homes, our careers, all of them before we look after the most important part that's us. And I truly believe that happiness had I in the middle for a reason. That's because you are important. You should be the center of your universe. You are responsible for your smiles, again, having I in the center. And that's what's really going to make you happy. That's really what's going to make you well. That's really what's going to take you through life. So I think very essentially, let me put a few things forward to you, all of us women here today. Dr. Yer talked about uh, PCODs being a lifestyle disease. Yes, it is a lifestyle disease. And for younger women and lots of women here today, I think that's very important because we are trying to conform to certain um, figures, certain weight loss programs, certain fad diets that you kind of download over the internet and we say, so and so actress is looking so slim and sexy and that's why I want to be a like her. So you end up making all those changes which are very, very unnatural to your own body, to your own lifestyle, to your own requirement. Diet is a badly used word nowadays. Diet actually stands for a routine food plan. It does not mean you give up on food. It does not mean that you count your calories. It does not mean that you restrict yourself from eating anything that you really love to. Because food and happiness are linked together. We in India meet people for social reasons over chai, coffee, khana. We uh, celebrate our festivals again over khana, pina. And meeting people is so important and food is the crux of all our social activities. So when we tell people, diet hai, aaj hum nahi kha sakte. We cut off our social interaction with all the people that will make us happy, will make us smile, and we create that stress in our life. So food and stress is interlinked in more <coughs> ways than one. There's lots more to say and I'm sure Dr. Shelja will uh, go into the details here. But what I'd really like to say is do not follow fat diets because all of you are unique. Each and every one of you, your women, are unique in your own special way. And it does not make you less or to be in competition with anyone else. You yourself are unique and beautiful. You have to believe that in yourself. You have to learn to make yourself happy. You have to learn to take the decisions for your own good. And you can do that by understanding how you would like to live your life. It's not about size zero. It's not about a 24 inch waist. It's not even about so-called weight loss because one woman can have heavier bone set than another. You can have a greater <coughs> amount of fat in your body and lesser amount of muscle. Or you can have equal amount of muscle and less amount of fat and both the women can weigh exactly the same. So it is so, so individual when you take decisions for what you are eating and how you lead your lifestyle. Well, I'm here to say that Bhagishri now is not just the actress, but you're a nutritionist and you're most welcome to help. Uh, come to me for help, ask any questions that's needed. Uh, my uh, 
website online is bhavishriyonline.com and you can connect with me through Back to Basics. So that's what I have to offer and last of all, I'd like to say Happy Women's Day to all, all you beautiful women over here and to all the supportive men, thank you so much for being here. It has been a total pleasure being amongst all of you here today. Thank you. Say, she's such a bitch. She's this, she's 
is that we condemn each other by name calling. That's the first and foremost thing. We do it by name calling. So, how can we uplift each other? Health, education, sanitation comes way later when there is no respect amongst women for each other. So, my point is from today, I want you all to start respecting each other. Stop name calling each other. Stop categorizing each other. Do not body shame. Now we talk about women saying, "Yeh moti hai, yeh patli hai, yeh gori hai, yeh kali hai." I'm an actor, right? So I'll tell you when I go for a casting or a meeting or an audition. The messages we get: Indians who look like foreigners, foreigners who look like Indians, girls who are not too fat and chubby, um, on the fairer side of the skin tone. Now tell me, what is this? Is this discrimination to what level? Is this discrimination of any kind? We actors face it all the time. Models face it all the time. Oh, she's short. She's not tall enough. So what you feel is you feel you're not <coughs> worthy. You feel you're not worthy of that love, the attention, the opportunity. You think your talent is not that important because you're discriminated. You're discriminated on the basis of how you look, on the basis of how you dress. Now, if someone's probably sitting here and I see her bra strap, the first thing we notice is. Showing her bosom, she's showing her bra strap. How indecent is this girl? It could be by mistake. It could be through your buttons. I can see your bra. You don't do it purposely, do you? You don't do it purposely. But the fact is, the way we are predominantly thinking about each other is about the fact that we are indecent women if we show our legs. We are indecent if we show our bosom, which is the most natural part of our body. Back in the days, women used to wear the saris and blouses. I'm sure India is very famous for Kama Sutra, but. Women and their sexuality is condemned in our country. Why? Why are women condemned on the basis of their sexuality? Are we not sexual human beings? Do we not like to be loved? We are. We are the basic biological sources of creating in the world. We create. We generate. We nurture. So this same. For example, we are very very scared. We live in fear. The most important thing is how. We overcome our fear. How many dirty things that you have done? Now we have PCO. I suffered from this problem. I was super stressed. I was probably going to every dermatologist because I was not aware that I could probably have this problem. So I was breaking out. I was very young, but I was super stressed because of my, you know, my my degrees, my work. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to be an IFS officer. I was stressed about everything in my life, and then I was breaking out. I had, I mean, I did not have facial hair growth, but I did break out, and I was completely devastated. My beauty, I thought, as women, we think, "Hamari shakal bigger gaye." Now I am not beautiful anymore. I am, I am going to be despised by the society. Nobody's going to like me. What's going to happen to my future? Everything's going to go to go to the drain. So the first and foremost thing is stop googling because Google always tells you you're going to die. The first thing you Google is it leads to cancer, it leads to something. So the most important thing is you seek help. The most important thing is stop googling, doing your own researches and analysis, and taking prescriptions, self-medicating yourself, which is the worst thing you can do. I went to a dermatologist, and they gave me some few medicines because they thought, you know, I'm young, I'm sprouting. You know, it could be a hormonal imbalance, which could not be PCOD. So I, I tried every medicine. Because I was scared to go to a gynecologist when I was really young, but I don't know what's going to happen there. I mean, I don't want to be opening up my bodily body's vital parts in front of a stranger. But that doctor is there to help you. She's there. She's educated. Has a medical background to help you. So do not be embarrassed if it's a man or a woman. If you're more comfortable with the opposite sex or you're not, it's solely your call. But I urge you, if you are suffering mentally, emotionally, Physically, you have to seek help. Do not think what will your parents or your husband or your brother say to you, because your source of happiness and life comes from you. If you are depressed and you are sick and you are not happy, how do you think you're going to make anyone else in your family happy? How do you think you're going to go back home and give your children love? They think as long as you're not married, you're absolutely this young girl who needs to take care of herself. Yes, it's shady. It happens. Responsibilities come, and you forget yourself. We women forget ourselves because we are givers. We are nurturers. We believe that we are. To be very honest, we live in a patriarchal society in our country. But who really runs the world? Our women.
So why are we so ashamed of our bodies? So we need to get over the first thing is stop fearing to seek help. Do not be ashamed of your vessel. You could be fat, thin. In your head, make sure you love yourself because self-love is so important today that without self-love, there is nothing. No one's gonna love you if you don't love yourself because what happens is you have no confidence in yourself. And when you have no confidence, there is no progress. That's one part. The most important thing I think, because we're talking about she, self-help is everything. The first thing you guys should do is go back home, think what is it that I'm actually suffering from? Even if you're not suffering, it's brilliant, it's beautiful if you're so happy and content with yourself. Physically, please do checkups. Mentally and emotionally, women are the most fragile <coughs> beings. You know how emotionally and, and mentally things affect our bodies more than our health? Which is medically claimed that if you're not emotionally or mentally taking care of yourself, it really harms a woman's body. Now when you're going to be pregnant, the things you feed your baby, the kind of thoughts you think, how positive you are, your child you know, imbibes every little tiny detail. You're a reflection of your energy. So if your energy is not going to be the way you want it to be for your baby, for yourself, for your lives, you're going to be a very unhappy person. So if, if a car breaks down, what do you guys do? Do you throw the car away? Do you kick it? Do you keep watching the car? What do you do? You take it to a garage, right? You take it to fix it. Now if your body is ailing, do not hesitate. Please go forward to any doctor for that matter. Now, our country suffers because women are not educated on the basis of oral contraceptives in the rural areas. We have about so many kids in their families and they keep reproducing and their health keeps deteriorating. How much can a woman's body take? So it's time to say no and stand up for yourself. And stand up for the woman who's living next door to you because she can't stand up for herself. So the most important thing is that we all have to stand up for each other. Not let the men stand up for us if they do. I salute the men who support their women. I salute the brothers who stand up for the sisters. But at the end of the day, if we don't support each other, we condemn each other because I'm a hypocrite. Okay, what I did is great, but if you did the same thing, that's awfully wrong. So please, the first and foremost thing is do not live in fear. We all live in, I live in fear that okay, if I wear this, if I do this, what is the other person gonna think about me? Stop thinking what others are gonna think about you. Global Advertiser for innovative outdoor solutions.